So hi, welcome back. Uh, my uh, halot have risen, as you can tell. I think they all look pretty good. This one's a little funky, but I like funky. So, um, you know, swirls and flower shapes, all is good. My next move is to um, cover with egg wash and uh, sprinkle with all kinds of seeds to make it festive looking. Um, as I said the last time, I have enough egg wash for three uh, layers. And uh, I think the, the egg wash makes this nice and shiny. And I give it a beautiful finish at the end. So the first layer is always the trickiest and I'm very careful not to not to make holes in the dough and to keep the integrity of the shape and design. So the second time is a little bit easier because it's all nice and smooth. So it just glides on nicely. And of course the third time is the best and I'm gonna start with my last. Give it one last brush through. As you can see most of the nooks and crannies are all, all saturated now. I'm going to start with my sesame seeds. And I sprinkle them on, sprinkle them on generous, generously. I like a lot of sesame seeds. I think it makes the challah. Um, I'm about finished with this bottle, but have no fear. I've got another one. Makes halot uh, not only festive looking, but gives them a, a layer of sweetness that's always nice. And notice I never use, I never um, use raisins in my halot. I I don't like the texture of them, but feel free if for. Um, for the high holidays to make a sweet one, not using any of these oh, or together with seeds, it's okay, but you can make it sweeter by adding all kinds of um, sweet things like raisins, some people like gran cranberry. I've heard of uh, chocolate chips, but I don't know, to me, old-fashioned is best. So I'm going to um, put them in at 415, 415 degrees for 25 minutes. My oven is not yet warm enough, so I will wait for the oven to... to um, to get to the degrees that I want and I will see you back with a finished product. All excited for my Yontif Chalot. See you soon.